wants to be ill and take a pill cause you're sick or under the weather with stomach aches and chills and shakes or a tongue that feels like leather. It's much more fun for everyone to be glowingly healthy and well. When we feel our best, we're happiest. We'll more likely be bright as a bell. Just so we'll know how best to grow and take care of ourselves as we do, we have health rules as reminder tools. I'll just bet you know quite a few. Yes, most of us know just what it takes to stay in good health. So what is it makes some poor soul in every group act like a silly, unhealthy group? Know what I mean? See. Some days it's just my awful luck to have to play with the dowdy duck. I know complaining's not polite, but this duck's such a dirty sight. She just won't bathe or wash her face. Her hands are dark and greasy. I'm sure she's a happy home for germs, which makes me quite uneasy. Whatever she touches gets dirty too, and I know she's spreading germs as well. She's a real bugaboo who needs a shampoo and whew, what a terrible smell. It's high time that someone taught her that ducks are supposed to take to water. Someday, I'll grab that duck and chuck her into a tub. Then I'll scrub, and I'll scrub, and I'll scrub. And while she can't escape, I'll scrape, and I'll scrape, and I'll scrape, till I can see her skin from her feet to her chin. I'll wash her hair and comb it too. I'll kill those germs, that's what I'll do. Then we'll scrub her clothes till they're spick and span. Then shovel the dirt into the garbage can. And when it's all done, I'll smile and say, Howdy, Miss What's-Your-Name Duck, who's no longer called Dowdy. The picky puss just doesn't like the food that's put before him. He never eats a balanced meal, and he won't let you ignore him. No cauliflower, please he says, and tomatoes make me ill. I don't care for soup so warm, and cold milk gives me a chill. I despise spinach, he cries, till you wish he'd stop his yelping. I won't eat beans or tangerines. No, not even a no thank you helping. As he rudely pushes his food around, you can well imagine how the cook must feel to see him make a battleground of her carefully planned and wholesome meal. Each meal time is wasted time. He just squirms about in his chair. But later, when it's between meal time, then he's hungry as a bear. Just bring out cookies or an ice cream cone or, for southern pussies, some fresh corn cone or hot dogs or snow cones or bars of candy or anything sweet and his appetite dandy. No wonder a pussy that picks ends up in an unhealthy fix. Oh, puss, if you should only see what an unhealthy future yours could be, unless you change your ways, you'd vow to improve your poor eating habits now. The musty old mole stays down in his hole and never goes outside to play. He's quite unaware of the need for fresh air and exercise every day. While others are running and jumping and sliding and bumping, the musty old mole just stays in his hole. He doesn't care for fresh, clean air. While others are swinging and throwing and romping and rowing, the musty old mole stays down in his hole. He despises exercises. He sits like a lump while his muscles get flabby. And when he's disturbed, he sulks and gets crabby. He's missing the wealth of having good health. Though Mr. Mole does no harm to others, should we let him stay there till he smothers? No, we'd be much kinder to old Mr. Mole if we blasted him. 
right out of his hole and forced him to try to be a regular guy. I hate to scold, but it must be told when the sneezy wheezy weasel caught a cold, how he let his germs spread uncontrolled to everyone he knew. <coughs> he wouldn't stay home and sneeze in bed. He sneezed germs all over his friends instead. Though they tried to avoid the germs he spread, he made them all sick too. <coughs> he sneezed. <coughs> and he sneezed. <coughs> and he sneezed. <coughs> and his poor friends didn't know what to do. As they ran to find a hiding place, they wished he'd take off for outer space. He was an ill wind that constantly blew. <laughs> if you should meet the sneezy weasel, don't let him spread his germs to you. Strap him down to his bed, or far better instead, send him off by kangaroo to some far off place like Timbuktu, anywhere, just so his germy face will be far removed from the human race. When we've all turned in and our lights are out, the knobby night owl still up and about. It isn't that there's much to do. He simply likes to putter, looking for his other shoe, eating bread and butter, he looks through books he'll never read, sees a late show on TV, views his collection of rare seaweed, shoots at peach pits with a pea. Hey, you silly featherhead, no more stalling. Get to bed. If you must stay up so late, you're sure to find your sorrow. You'll be too pooped to participate in play with your friends tomorrow. There's nothing more foul than a tired night owl, cause he's sleepy and grumpy next day. So he staggers about with his bleary scowl, unable to think of fair play. A naughty night owl is dangerous too, because he isn't alert. He doesn't watch out as the rest of us do to see that no one gets hurt. That's why silly feather heads must some way be made to get to bed. The thought I have that's uppermost when bedtime's overdue is to dress myself up like a ghost and really scare him. Boo! Quickly ending his objection to moving in the right direction. Now let's get back to you and me. What's our future going to be? How can we remember, not only now, but next September, those important things we all must do to be healthy and happy? Well, here's a clue. Let's fix on our minds in bold black ink these vital questions to help us think. Do I always try to keep clean, dress neatly so I'm proud when seen? Take time to wash off dirt and muck. Or am I like the dowdy duck? Do I willingly get my rest going to bed at the time that's best? Or do I fuss around and prowl like a silly, naughty night owl? Do I recognize that health-wise, getting fresh air and exercise is a most desirable goal? Or am I a musty old mole? Do I try to eat the things I should? Balanced meals of wholesome food. Foods we know are good for us. Or am I like a picky puss? When I'm not well, do I stay in bed? Or would I rather spread my germs instead? One who, by giving friends my disease, will be a sneezy wheezy weasel. <laughs> now, children, and you too, teachers, remember to follow the rules. Let's keep these unhealthy creatures away from our homes and our schools. Don't you agree? After all, who wants to be a dowdy duck, or a naughty night owl, or a musty old mole, or a picky puss, or a sneezy wheezy weasel? Certainly not you, nor me.